Good morning, everybody. Somebody alerted this to me, and I want to take a deeper... What? What? Okay, guys, I need I need a 1,000 new subscribers, please, because we can't have that going into the tail end of the World Series. Come on, man. All right, morning routine. We're going to look down. We're going to click on this guy right here and watch today. Well, yesterday's vlog. Work hard, get dough. No sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Alright, for those of you that missed yesterday's Easter egg in the vlog uh, what, what, what didn't make sense in the picture, we're gonna give you a hint Okay, that and yesterday's said Jason Kuhn <laughs> He's only looking a little bit, you know Anyway, so we're going with this shirt today Lot of action. Lot of action. Lot of action. Because we expect it to be lots of action in the short tech. Gonna gamble tonight. This this one seems like the one that we'll need a drive home for. And if you've noticed anything else, what's the Easter egg? Into, what is that? Come on, man. What the? That was because I laid on the pillow, and then this one just this, it's too long up here. I got to do something about it. I did do something about this though. You know, I finally had a little bit of time where I could actually do some, you know, feel some, feel human again, do some manscaping. And we trimmed it up just a little bit. And all of you guys, I know, oh, now you're going to win everything because you shaved your beard. Daniel, Daniel, that was the trick. The beard is unlucky. Don't do it ever again. Let's go say bye to the pups. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest with both of you. This is kind of getting repetitive. You right in that exact spot. You right in this exact spot. Like, What's the, oh, you know, I know why you were here. Cause you missed, yeah, you missed daddy. And daddy was laying with you a little bit right in this spot. Oh man. Soon boys, we're going to hang and chill all day. Like the old days. I'm going to say bye to you too. And watch, he'll jump, he'll run. Look, he sees him, he sees me coming over here. And look, he's on his way. You're on your way, aren't you? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> That didn't take long, huh? And you're right in the nook. You're right in the nook. You're right in front of him. Hmm? Just like, this is exactly the same thing that happened in the last vlog. Right? What are we doing, guys? We can't repeat every day. You, you're always sleeping now at this hour. Okay, look, he jumped right in. Nope. Look at that. I love this when you, when you cuddle like that. Huh? All right. See you, boys. All right. Drive in video. Short deck. All right, yesterday, so here's the thing. Anytime I play a tournament that's incredibly meaningful to me and then jump into another one that isn't nearly on that same level, that's a difficult adjustment that I typically want a little bit of time. As we said yesterday with the short deck, I didn't have a lot of time to do that because it ended earlier than normal. Instead of 2 a.m. finish, it ended at midnight. So we had to get in there and, you know, to give ourselves a chance. Essentially, what you get is six bullets, right? You, you're, you, you buy in, right, and you get three bullets. And then if you bust, you can buy it again and you get three more bullets. And part of the reason for that is because short deck is high variance, crazy game. Um, maybe you guys remember some of the hands last night. You're seeing King Jack, you're seeing all this kind of junk. Those are good hands, all right? So the hand values are completely different. So what the hell is short deck, okay? Short deck is no limit hold'em, where they take out the deuces, threes, fours, fives, completely out of the deck. There are no twos, threes, fours, and fives, right? So the lowest card is a six. However, however, an ace can also be a five. So if you had ace six and it came seven, eight, nine, you would have five, six, seven, eight, nine straight, okay? Other strategic thing that's different is the fact that flushes, because flushes are much harder to make. You take out the deuces, three, four, five, that's four outs. So flushes are much harder to make, which means they beat full houses. So you make aces full, good for you. I have a 10 high flush, I win, you know? Just like that. Flushes beat uh, full houses and then the other strategic difference which is something I'd really 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 like to see done for regular no limit hold'em and you guys if you have home games or whatever try it out and you'll see how much more fun it is the structure is different you know when you play no limit hold'em it's a small blind it's the big blind and then everyone else like can act accordingly right so that's the normal thing in short deck and what I'd like to see in no limit is this every single person at the table is the small blind the button is the big blind. So basically everybody puts in one chip, 
the, 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 the button puts in two. So you're first to act right next to the button. It's one chip to call, right? So you're getting one chip to win all that pretty money out there. So you're getting really, really good odds, which means you're gonna end up playing a lot of hands, right? Rather than, you know, a, a few hands when you only put in money twice a, 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 a round. So that typically means that an early position, like the first player is usually limping, by the way, because you don't wanna like just raise your good hands and limp your bad ones kind of thing. And then, you know, people start to know when you limp, you're weak, right? So you're gonna be limping ace, king, aces, kings, queens, all that kind of stuff from like first position. And then, you know, if a couple people have lived behind, you can start raising some of these hands and like ace jack, and you can get it in with like, here, the hand equities is what'll drive you, what'll, what'll shock you, okay? Ace king against jack 10, flip, full flip, 50-50, right? You got pocket kings, you're like, oh, check me out, I'm big balling. Other guy has ace 10 suited, right? You're like, ooh, yeah, I got him, 50-50, coin flip. <laughs> you know, you think about it, you take all the little cards out, way more likely stuff's gonna happen you saw a hand yesterday i'm like i got pocket queens pocket jacks king 10 you know this guy flops a set i flopped the top set this guy flops a straight it's like it's such a crazy game it's a lot of fun it's a it's a high variance game i feel it's, it intuitively makes a lot of sense to me in terms of the play style we're coming in today you know with a decent stack we're okay right we, we, we're gonna have a chance here and now that i'm fresh it's a new day and now I'm ready to grind. Now I'm ready to play. Last night we were loosey goosey, sloppy bloppy. Today, new day, new grind, new energy, LFG. All right, so this is a fun game, guys. You see that board, queen, queen, 10. So here's what happened. They both folded. He raised 8,000, he called. We called on the button with this. He bet the flop, he called, we raised, and he's going all in. So we have a decision to make here. I don't think I'm ever folding this hand, but you know, there's a world where it could be the same hand and maybe has one nip worse, and it's short deck. Even if he does seconds. have, if, yeah, if he does have the ace queen, such is life, we just move on to the next one. All right, I'm all in. You got the ace queen? All in. Yeah, all right, phew. <laughs> That's one of those. I guess it's a chop, yeah? Okay, cool. Right, we move from that table, oh guy. Yeah floor got my phone everything great so we're at this new table right here all right i'm gonna give you 15 seconds okay oh, explain okay. yep explain in 15 seconds how to be the best short deck player in the world 15 seconds go you're on me yeah i don't know i you're don't know how to speak just so. oh <laughs> <laughs> sorry i don't know that's okay how about win when you're all in uh it's a good strategy just 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 all in all in and win that's important Okay. I'm doing okay. So player, show the week, just go all in. Show week, boom, yeah, all, in. all in. And then do Steel. bless. Because your, your hat says bless. Life with bless. Life is bless. <laughs> okay, here we go. Short deck field, of course, you got freaking the young best, modern uh, chip Reese, according to Phil Ivey. The best huh? uh, short deck game player What's from that? Hong Kong. There we go. Insane. There we go. All right. Hey, how are you? How you doing, man? Yeah, good. Just so you see, I'm not the only one. Team Korea's all in with the nuts. Ben Lam got the three aces. Oh! oh brutal. I'm getting you for my vlog. Oh, yeah. Bad luck. Flop the nuts, now you too. Boom. Everybody, good luck, good luck. GG, GG. Yeah. All right. GG to you, too. Ben Lam. Lucky Ben. Lucky Ben. I'm just saying, lucky. I want him to have the nuts. You want him to have the nuts? Okay, well, he did. <laughs> feel good about this one. Check this hand out. You're not going to believe this one. I had two kings here. He raised with ace king. He three bet. I folded kings. Oh, slow. Wait, got flush draw. Boom. Oh my god. We are still alive, baby. 200k. You wouldn't have folded those kings. No. Oh, baby. This is nuts, guys. This is insane. Under the gun makes it 11. Ben Lam makes it 55. We got 200k in chips. And I got two freaking kings. Well, you know. Oh, if he limps, you get me. If, if he limps, I'm going. I'm going. But it's a, yeah. Two kings in the muck, baby. Because I'll tell you, I'll explain that one on the break to you. Because that's next level shit right there. That's above the rim. That's above, that's above the Against Ben Lamb? What do you think this guy has when he's raising? How is it terrible when you got freaking aces? Yeah, but he, you know, I know what's going up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what's up. Woo! Got away from it, baby. Still in there. 200K. Let's go. All right, we're going to break with 192,000. Average is 235. 28 players left. 17 are going to get paid. So we're already pretty close to the money. 
in this short deck. But this king's hand, y'all, this is nuts. Everyone's like, what the hell? How did you fold that? It's crazy talk. I just folded king's preflop in the short deck correctly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was a weird one. So two big stacks right there. Uh, can you walk with me? Yes. Okay, yes. I'm doing the vlog. Okay. That's right. so awesome. Cheers. Man. When you get it ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Wait, and the rest, right. like, okay. Thank you. All right, you got it. Yeah, sure, bud. Thank you. You're a legend. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay, so what happens, this is weird. Uh, Elton's saying very good at this game. It's a top-notch player. He opens under the gun for 11,000, which is weird. 15-3. It's already weird. Typically, you're going to limp there. Ben Lamb in second position on heaps makes it 55. We've got 200 right next. So a couple concerns. Obviously, anyone behind us could have aces. The under the gun opener or Ben Lamb could. And then if they don't, you know, one of them likely has an ace-king against ace-king. Sure, we're a favorite, but it's not... It's not like 80% or anything like that. You know, it's still a gamble. And I thought for a long time I used the time bank, which is rare for a preflop decision for me. Folded. Elton had the ace king, as you saw. Ben Lim had the aces. So we're still in there with a fighting chance. And that felt good. Oh, feels good. Feels good to do, to do the right thing and it, you know, pay off there. So keep on trucking. All right, here we sit. We've officially reached the bubble portion of the tournament. Left, so that'll be three tables. We're going to redraw. Oh, no, no, we don't. We, we do redraw? Yeah, redraw. We do redraw. redraw so we're right going to redraw. Right redraw for three tables. One person will go home broke. And I want to explain a little thing about the game, which I wish we could fix because I, I do enjoy playing short deck. But the bubble situations are problematic because the chip leader, because the equities run so close, the chip leader can essentially just go all in every hand and force everyone to only call with aces because you're always gambling, you know, and it's probably not worth it from a financial perspective. I'm going to all in and a call here. Wow. All in. Um, so it's not worth it from a financial perspective necessarily. So if you made it pot limit before the flop, that would solve it. But I don't know. People are somewhat resistant to that change. All right, we have a chance now. The guy at our table. He's all in. If Ben Lyme calls and wins, he'd be out. I don't know. Ben might be folding here. This guy limped under the gun. Jammed. And he got called. Okay, let's see. Ace king against queens. Ben Lam has the queens. There's the king. All right. Double. So the bubble did not break. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we are on the bubble, and we were. My man returns. That's Chino Reem right there, ladies and gentlemen. Chino. Chino Reem has. I have. I have 17k on the stone bubble with 2,500 any. For all of Daniel's viewers and fans on the vlog. Yeah. That means so you're what's called the short stack as of right now. I am what's called fume short stack. 2,500 Andy, 17K is... Uh, this is the guy who bluffed us last night. Maybe. Bluff, remember last yeah. night when you bluffed? Oh, Bluff, forgot. right? I Puck forgot. A, Puck of jacks? Oh. oh, you forgot? Yes, Puck of jacks. Bluffer. <laughs> No, no memory. No memory, doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. All right, I needed that nine, but now I don't. I need a diamond. Diamond. Diamond, diamond for Daniel. Diamond for Daniel. Diamond for Daniel. Nine. Straight. Full house. You win. <laughs> nice hand. Good job. <laughs> I would go broke on the river anyway. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was a lot of fun. Came in 15th place. Um... That last hand's kind of interesting. So you know what? Let's go to the bathroom, little boy's room. Let's talk about that hand. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so let's talk about this hand because I thought it was pretty interesting. I, I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting game and it was the last hand before the break. We would've went on break. Um, so we have, we start the hand with about 130,000. The ante's 2,500, okay? We're doing okay. I mean, you know, no, we don't have a big stack. The average is like 400,000. I'm in first position and I have the ace, seven of diamonds. So I limp for the 5K. Whoa, one other player, two other players limp, the button checks. So the, the button checks, right? The flop is jack six, six with two diamonds. So I have the nut flush draw. That means if he has a full house, that's fine. I can still hit the diamond, you know? I check, check to the button who bets 7,000. It's the Japanese player. I know he plays the game a lot. It's very obvious to me he's a good player. So what he understands is this. One of the interesting things about the game is the way that the ranges play, because if it's limped around in the button checks, right, a 6-6 six, six board or a 7-7 seven, seven board, that favors the button. 
big time. Because when I limp under the gun, not a lot of six X hands, you know, will do that. Just jacks. You don't you don't have a six in your hand very often. You do the other limpers, right? So generally speaking, when you're in that position, you want to be representing the six, whether you have it or not, because it's very difficult for anyone to call, especially on a Jack six six board. There's just nothing going on, right? But of course we have the enough flush draw, so I do call. Now, what could I have here when I call? I could have just a jack, right? I could have diamonds. I could have pocket jacks, law, ladies and gentlemen. I could also have an overpair. I can be trapping with aces, kings, queens. So oh, that's my whole range. There you have it, right? I call the 7,000. The turn card is an eight. So now, because that ace plays as a five as well, now I also have five, six, seven, eight. Of course, there's no four in the deck, but the nine is good because the nine makes us straight. Um, so now I have like, you know, additional outs, not just the, you know, not flush draw. That is if he's not full already. I check and he bets 35,000 and I'm sitting on 120. So I feel like this is a good enough player and I think he's been bluffing a decent amount where he's just, he's gonna bet there like with a bunch of rags, like a lot. Like he's gonna, he's gonna fire more than one bullet at this one, right? So he's gonna go ahead and bet with like, you know, queen 10, king seven. Just, he's gonna bluff there, right? A decent amount. And if he, and if he's not bluffing and he's got something, he may actually fold because what bluffs do I have, right? I check raise all in for my 120,000. He tanks, he's pissed. He's like, oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Because he's in a really brutal spot for himself. He's got a six, nine of clubs. And he finally makes the call. And that's bad news for me that it's the six, nine specifically, because all of a sudden now we can't hit a nine anymore. And that's what came, which was the nine. And so he makes the full house while we miss the flush. So. Decent finish, all things considered, you know. I Which of these grinded. should I use for flu? Whoa. Yeah. Um, that was weird. Siri's like yapping at me. All right, so, you know, it was fun. I, I, I Listen, I, I wasn't ever all that emotionally invested in it. I felt like I played pretty well. Obviously, we folded the kings. It felt like we could go to glory. Our boy Chino Reem was down to six annies, and now he's big pimping with 300,000. We got him on the fantasy team, so we need him to go deep. As for us... It's a little siesta time, and then we jump in. We're gonna take a look at the schedule. I think it's a 10K pot limit Omaha eight or better tournament that's on deck. Okay, so confession. We woke up from a nap about an hour ago, all right? And I've been just obsessed. I went down, you ever gone down a YouTube rabbit hole where you just start watching stuff about something and they just know? Like how to, I've been watching Mike Tyson fight recaps and it brings me back to my childhood. What an absolute beast savage lion predator just freaking kid dynamite man those those, woof, woof, those punches you know pretty really fierce man it's fun to watch it's like uh it's always i always admire people that are great at their craft mike tyson certainly fits the bill as for us okay well you know hey We've had a little bit of a rest. There is a Pot Limit Omaha 8 or better tournament awaiting us. We're going to be entering in level 7. Play four levels tonight if we make it through. If not, early night and then a late start tomorrow. So not emotionally invested yet. But, I, you know, it's hard to be as emotionally invested after you just played the PPC, which is your favorite event. Played the short deck. That was fun, but I wasn't emotionally invested. I'm not emotionally invested in this one. But I'm going to do my best and I'm going to play as well as I can. Yeah, it's the best we can. That's all we can do. I felt like I played well in the short deck today. I did. I don't think I made any bad mistakes. The A7 of Diamonds, I, I really think it's fine. I mean, yeah, he's just going to have air there so often. More so than having a six, actually. So, all right, here we go. Off for another one. Before we sit down and jump into this thing, we need to find out. We need to find out what is this wall of chips over here? What's bothering you today, Alan? What's bothering you today, Alan? Look at this. You're not bothered. You're happy. No, I'm doing well so far. Oh, I paid twenty-seven dollars for a hamburger today. Why? I have a picture on my phone. Look at that. Why would you do such a thing? Because I was so hungry and I was it worth twenty-seven dollars? No, definitely not. Definitely not. All right. I will show you the picture. Okay. Pull it up. I got some shirts for you too, by the way. Oh, contenders clothing. Yes, sir. I got some. They're fun ones. I got them. I'll bring them to you on the break. All right, we got to see this picture now. People are waiting. Here it is, right here. Okay. Twenty-seven dollars so and seven cents. Oh, this is just the bill, buddy. Where's yes. the burger? We wanted to see that. It was completely dried out. What did it have on it? Soggy. 
plain, obviously. A little, uh, what do you call it, Wagyu or something like that? Plain, completely plain. Twenty-seven. I'm, I'm, that's unlike you, Alan, <laughs> to spend $27. I was so hungry. You're I slipping, bro. You're, you're, on, you're not representing the, the deals that I we need. I posted on my you. Twitter. Ryan gave me a compliment. He said, I was plus Sorry, in this tournament, even though it's a Do you believe him? Yeah. <laughs> Were you telling the truth? Let's see. Very Show true. me your bluff face. No, no, that, no, that he's full of shit, man. He's full of shit. He's just telling you that to butter you up. No, I believe you're plus EV. Did you sell? I'll buy a piece, one percent. Now that you have chips. <laughs> All right. Good luck to me. Let's go. Hi. Hi. How y'all doing? Good. I'll be in the last longer shirt. And I paid you. I paid you for the last one. Okay. See? All right. What do you want? You can draw. Okay. You're on camera. Okay, Candid great. camera. You're Hello. on the vlog. <laughs> What's up, Daniel? All right. Hi. We're gonna pick a seat. All right. It says 122.5. That's okay. where I'm headed. Good okay. Out in our seat and look what's right across us. Right there. Focused, right? Engaged. The goat right there. Oh, he's dancing. <laughs> he doesn't know he's being filmed. This is great. What's he listening yeah. to? I have no idea. Some rap, though. He sings it like uh, Frank Sinatra. He, you know, the way he does, like, gin and juice? It sounds like rolling down the street, talking about sipping on gin and juice, laid back. That's good. Look at him. He's just lounging. <laughs> hey, Phil! He brought you over. No, you don't hear. Phil! Say, say hi to the people. <laughs> I got you lounging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, steaming too. Okay. All right. We see it. I'll make this up. The very first hand I sit down, me and my new friend right here. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Me and Kevin. Right here. Ask him if he's good at this game. He says, no. Right? Very first hand. I'm in the big blind. I get the ace, deuce, four, nine with diamonds. Yeah? True story. Flop comes three, five, six with two diamonds. So I got the nut low. I got a straight. I got a flush draw. Yeah, but not low. Uh, flush draw. And a two jack. Yeah. So he had ace, deuce with diamonds, two, turn a diamond, river, and ace. I get half, you get half. It's fair. Yeah. I think it's fair. Yeah. So that's how we started today. I was big ball, and I look at that flop, I look at my hand and say, how is this possible? Let's go. All right, Mike the Mouth. Mike the Mouth. Mike the Mouth. Mike the Mouth. People need to know. What are you drinking, first and foremost? What is that? Hello? I forget where you're looking. Hey! What's up, son? Bust? Very bad. Beat. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why you're upset. Very bad. Like as bad as you can get. Yeah? Like about like your tens or swings. No, about the same. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear. Sorry, good luck. All right. There we are. One pot. All right, so we doubled up. Totally outplayed the guy on my left so bad. I got him to put it in with, he had nothing. He's crazy. <laughs> He had absolutely nothing. This guy's too fucking good. He plays He's money with good. nothing. Here was the, I'm gonna tell you, it's a cool hand. I raised with ace, two, three, five. He calls in the button. Should never call. I raised. What does that tell you? Well, it was 10, five, deuce. One spade, I bet. He calls. Turn five. Check raise, get it in. Poor guy has ace, three, five, nine. Wah, wah. But he's still doing good. He's up 700 in chips. Right? 800. 800 in chips. And we got this. 100 and something. I, it feels like a drinking night every night, but I haven't done it yet. I want to save it. Because once I start, y'all, there's no breaks. It'll be go time. All right, this gentleman just won a bracelet and a tag team right here. And we want to know, because I'm like judging hoodies lately, and I know these Bala Saga, Beyond Saga, they're all like 800 bucks. So we're going to take it, what's that? How do you say that? Balma? Balma Ferry? So we're going to put a guess on that one. You guys in the comments tell me you like over under. I'm going to go $250. Two, oh, put it's some, put some respect on it. Put some respect <laughs> on it. Put some respect on it. We got the over. How much? I don't know. More than two fifty, buddy. That's a black hoodie with balma on it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it's like a. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, congrats. You just won the tag team with that. That's fun. Thank you. These guys playing the poker. You got the chips. Did you play the heads up? All up? right, we got about one hundred twenty thousand. You start with sixty. That's a double stack. That's the head. That's good. I just ran a nice little bluff ski. I just ran a nice little bluff ski right now um, in PLO8. I'm, I'm, I'm dialed in, actually, oddly. Uh, it's an interesting spot. So position is power, <sighs> right? I'm on the button. I raise with the... Should I do a hand breakdown for this? What do y'all think? 
Nah. <laughs> I raised the button with Ace-Ace Jack-10. Big blind calls. Comes. Deuce three eight, two spades. I don't have spades, I have one spade. He checks. I bet 8,000 or 5,000 or something. He calls. Turns a four. He checks. I'm dead, right? I'm just aces, I don't even have a low. So you're supposed to just give up on this hand, except because I have two aces, he's in the big blind. That only leaves like not a lot of combos of ace five. If he has five six, so be it. If he's got some sort of draw, he's gonna fold. And I can easily have ace five. So I bet it as a bluff, protection, all the things. And he folded after tanking for 83 minutes-ish. So two more hours, we're not gonna drink. What's up, dude? How y'all doing? Um, we're not gonna drink tonight, even though I want to. <laughs> I think I want, like, when I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I wanna give myself, like, solid three, four hours of just, like, woo, letting loose. Let's make sure his hair looks good for this all in. So what happened here is my friend Nick, oh, hi, <laughs> signing. He raised, I flatted, okay. The flop, this gentleman, Tricky, check raised me. So he's got a big, lots of stuff. We're gonna go all in with our hand and see what happens. And we hope the board pairs, because that's what we need. I have a low draw then. You have a low draw. Oh yeah, what the hell, you keep, oh my God, I'm in great shape. Okay. I know, but the, I, was, I thought you had more than that. I didn't realize I was in such good shape. I thought you had like ace four with clubs or something. That's a good card. Keep it high. Seven hearts. That's a good one. Oh, baby. Double, double. All right, night's over. We're already in the steam room because dummy over here, I forgot to press record on the thing to give you uh, the breakdown of what just happened there. So I missed out on that. But uh, all right, so we ended with 191.5. Very nice stack. We had the very last hand of the night. Lost 40, 47, 48K. Um, on the button, I opened King, King, Deuce, three. Small, uh, small blind, Philip Hugh, short stacked. He pots it for 20K. He's only got like 44. Flops jack 10-6, we get it in. Comes a seven on the turn, so I need a low card because he has aces, of course. Ace, ace, queen, six. Didn't win that one. But there was also another, I'm focusing on the, the ones we lost, right? I, I lost another one to Paz, which was kind of annoying. Um, what was the hand? I, so uh, he raises. I defend the big blind with ace, three, five, 10 with spades. Comes queen, eight, five, two spades. I check, he bets, we put it in. He has ace, ace, king, eight. So... I wonder what you think. Like, how often do you think he's ever going to scoop me there percentage-wise? All right, take a wild guess. If you guessed 18%, you're correct. So he's only 18% to scoop. I have him a two-to-one favorite from an equity perspective. We've got 65%. Because any low card, I get half. Three, I get the whole thing. Five, I get the whole thing. Spade, I get the whole thing. Ten, I get the whole thing. So lots of cards for me to get the whole thing. Not many runouts where I don't. Came Jack Queen or something like that. Yeah, just missed. But... Listen, we played great today. I kicked ass, not gonna lie. I'm very happy with how we played. Uh, ran some really nice bluffs when needed. I wanna tell you one more thing about PLO and we'll talk about it tomorrow in the drive-in video, but I, I employ like a limping strategy. I limp almost exclusively, unless I'm on the button or, or late position, but um, I limp a lot because I like to play a lot of pots and make you know my you know big decisions post flop. But yeah, remind me or don't remind me. I'll, I'll remember. Tomorrow in the drive-in video, I'll explain a little bit more about the great game of Pot Limit Omaha 8. In the meantime, bedtime, sleep time, recharge time, and do it all over again. Peace, y'all.